I'm so sorry, guys. So I don't know how this video is gonna turn out. I'm just being my authentic self until I get more answers. So you guys are gonna know based off of the album art and the title of this video, but potentially this could be goodbye to baby R. Um, I don't know. I don't know. So today's, what they say, Saturday, last night, Friday night, I got a text message. I'm not even going to share who it's from. I just got a text message from someone that is not a professional in this case. Just feeling like, 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 what the heck? Like, what's happening? This, they heard that, like, our, is, it's going back home. Home. Um, I was not told about this. No one told me anything about this. I had to find out through this person and then contact one of the professionals on this case and got, like, a two-sentence email. I think maybe one-sentence email explaining that the weekend visitation was extended through the week to the next hearing, which is a week away, next Thursday. And that was the hearing where they were determining what's happening next. Um, so I was just like, what? What is happening? Um, You know, I'm not, I mean, of course I'm sad, but I'm not in tears. I, I'm honestly more appalled by the way this happened. I get it that caregivers, <clears throat> foster parents are not parties in the case. Here you go, lady. Are, we're not like parties in the case. So it's all confidential information, but you can raise the kid for 10 months. It's so backwards. <clears throat> um, they didn't have to tell me about this. Uh, but it's also just weird because I would have only known if he was with me, but because he was on a visit, a weekend visit with his mother, <clears throat> no one even updated me. So. It makes me think, like, where's the humanity? Like, do, why doesn't anyone care? Why didn't a social worker, like, say, hey, just letting you know this happened, and I would have shown up on Sunday to pick this kid up, and he wouldn't have been there. And then I would have had to contact my social worker, and she would have said, you need to call 911. Like, and then they would have, been, like, do we see, <laughs> like, what this could have happened? If the person who was not even on this case didn't find this out and text me, how in the world, like, obviously it's a family member of the child, but they're just, anyway. Uh, so now it's Saturday, obviously we're going on our walk, she and I, and um, I expect that like, I expect that he's not returning back to his home here. What I hope is that he's returning back to his home here. But y'all know I'm Christian and I believe that, like, I completely surrender this. This is not up to me. I keep reminding myself that God has a path for baby R. And as much as he has a path for him, he has a pass, a path for me <laughs> and her. So yeah, so I don't know where to go with this. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'll think for this video, I'll probably just update you guys 
through the week with my thoughts and feelings. Uh, but right now, it's I haven't seen him since Thursday. And it's Saturday. And, and I wasn't supposed to be. He would have been on a, on a visit until tomorrow evening. But now it'll go through the week. And it's just crazy because as I got him out of the car, I said... I kissed him. I said, I love you. Have a good weekend. And it's just like, man, if I only knew that could have, that could potentially be the last time I ever do that with him. I have a lot of faith that his uh, father and, and his side of the family will keep me forever updated on him with photos and stuff because we have a very good relationship. But, you know, who knows with life? Um, so yeah, I will keep you guys posted and, um, I'm going to go, go get some coffee and, uh, read a little bit of this. It's called the Bible. I picked up this one, the message. I don't know if y'all have had it. So I do have this Bible, uh, the NIV. Is it the NIV? The NIV, New International Version. There we go. Um, it's good. Obviously, I like this one. It was my first, not my first one, but my main one. And then this one, The Message. If you haven't read The Message, um, I'm sure this is where everyone's going to sign off probably, but um, I really like it. I like it because it's like con totally contemporary. It's in today's language. But the weird part is, is like the verses sometimes will like, oh, don't rip. Goodness gracious. I don't know, like, they kind of, like, push the verses together. So you'd be like, oh, let me find Luke chapter 1, verse 8. And it'll be, like, verse 6 through through 10. I don't know. It's kind of odd. I'm still trying to learn it. But I'm going to read a little bit out of there because a friend of mine told me about a passage that I should check out. Okay, so I don't know when I'll be back on. I don't know if it'll be later today, tomorrow, Monday, whenever. But um, I'll definitely... Why did I come in here? I came in here for something. I'll definitely let you guys know. That's it for now. Ooh, I don't know. Bye. So sorry, guys. <sighs> I shut this door. It's so loud. <sighs> I found out that there's a that um, <sighs> that there. I don't even remember what I recorded last earlier that they that there's the, the there is a hearing next week and that um, I can attend it and be in the hearing if there's no if no one objects to it and in the past no one has objected so we'll see but um finally tackling all of these clothes and you can't help but think about all of the clothes and then some of the clothes that people have given me that are a little bit you know like 12 months 18 months 24 months And when people give you those things, like, you know, like, he could never get into them in my care. But you take them and hope. And sometimes I want to say to people, stop giving me clothes. Stop 
giving me clothes for ages that they're not. But also, people want to help and you want to be kind and nice. <laughs> and, and I want to have hope. So it just made me really f sad. <sighs> okay, so I'm at Bed Bath & Beyond right now. And um, processing some things here. Um, so I was thinking earlier, I really want to know how ours is doing. And, um, you know, it's hard to like, determine do I reach out to parents or do I like let them reach out to me and as I was talking to someone I was like you know what I'm just gonna reach out and see how he's doing and it's been like over two hours and I haven't heard anything and there's a really big part of me that's just like okay I mean like I love that kid and I've spent 10 months of my life and his life with him and raised him and he calls me dada and all of these things and um I just don't know totally what to think about it all like I've been through these transitions so many times now that it kind of I don't know if my body my brain is shutting this out or if it's just or if I'm like authentically like whatever I don't think I'm whatever because I think I'm whatever about the process and I'm probably shutting out the lack of him in my life. And I think because there's still things that have to happen that there's like this tiny chance that things would shift in a more positive way for what I would deem positive. Um, that that's kind of, I'm kind of holding on to the last, last string of hope. Um, and maybe that's what's keeping me, I don't know, from being in a complete wreck. Um, but I don't know. So it does go through my two things go through my head like what is it going to be like if i never see him again like i was just thinking like man i said goodbye for a visit and then that i thought i was going to pick up on sunday and now it's like whole day after and i didn't pick him up and i i literally like it's hard to talk about just handed him over i said have a great visit gave him a kiss and like got in the car and what happens if I never see him again? That's the reality. I could never see him again. And that's the hard part. That's really hard. And I hope that's not the case. Um, sent the text message to the parents and I still haven't heard anything. So that's scary too, because if you guys know the history, I, went, I still have never talk to the people who have baby s i did recently see a photo of him from the social worker he's a kid he's he's just he's almost two years he's a year and a half old he's just growing and that's okay i've made peace with that but like because i went through that i worry that this will happen again and i only had s for like four and a half months so our for 10 months like it's 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 freaking hard so i'm just trying to a lot's going through my head and processing a lot but um i hope i hope that's not the case i hope that's not the case i'm grateful that there is someone in that family who is adamant about making sure i know him forever um but there's a lot going on I think I'm buying one of these. I have a, a credit here, and um, this I think I'm gonna buy. If anyone has an air fryer, let me know what you think. Um, so yeah, I don't know, so we'll see. It's just Monday, we have until the hearing on Thursday to find out how thing. I don't know, okay guys, I'll let y'all know what's up. Oh, good morning everyone. It is, um, 
Tuesday uh, at like 6, I think, 6.20 a.m. Um, okay, so I woke up this morning very, very tired. I did not sleep well last night. I'm sure just because I'm stressed. I had to get up early because I'm going to go with my friend Amy and we're going to, um, we're just going to be putting out some like marketing flyers on, um, homes and doors throughout the neighborhood. I have a hundred that I want to put out, you know, just advertising, you know, if anyone's looking to sell their home or whatever. Um, so... I, I, I will say that like it's getting a little harder. Definitely miss him. Um, I will say this. I don't think it would be so hard. It, well, I don't know if it'd be hard or not. I just, uh, I really wish my text message I sent yesterday was received and replied to. That's, my, that's what I can say about that right now. Um, you know, because, well, I haven't seen him since Thursday, and I don't know if I ever will again. Um, I'm sure at some point, you know, there'll be some communication. I have faith. But I think because I've been through this before, where I gave up a child and there was zero communication that um, I think that's what really scares me the most because I know how ruthless people can be so I'm just praying that that doesn't happen this time but this time it's different and and it makes you know, being with baby A here, you know, completely different case, and you gotta have faith and you gotta trust the process. But, um, it gives you, um, a little fear about having to go through this again. She's my sixth baby, and I ask myself, how much more do I have? I know that I'm not stopping. I know that I'm gonna continue doing this, but you can't help the question. So yeah. Now I'm at Starbucks and Amy's been waiting for me for, I don't know, like 25 minutes. And I'm here and she's here. Looking fabulous as ever. Okay, goodbye. Okay, so it is the morning, Thursday. We have got this little lady all ready to rock and roll. Uh, the hearings today, we're gonna be, Amy's gonna be helping me. She's gonna manage her while we're there. Um, and then we're just gonna wait. We do know that there's a possibility that I will not be allowed to attend the actual hearing. Uh, that's a normal thing. As a foster parent, you show up to the hearings and every hearing they can decide to like object to you being in the room, in the here in the actual courtroom. Um, so we'll see how that turns out. If I can, uh, that'll be great. They've, I've never been denied in the past, so I can't see why they would this time. Um, but we'll see. So Amy will be here in 12 minutes or 13 minutes. So I wanna make sure I'm ready. Got the diaper bag, we got a bottle. Um, it's weird because I'm having to go back to like all the baby stuff like you know 
I've only been having to put like, um, you know, things for R who's much older in the bag. Now it's all the baby, 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 baby stuff. So, okay, that's that. Um, let me get her in the car seat. I'm ready to rock and roll. Um, we'll see how it all goes. We'll see how it goes. Okay. <sighs> Here we go. <laughs> okay, so of course we had to stop at Starbucks. It's pretty dead in here this time. So we have to get our coffees. And, um, <laughs> well, we have to get our coffees. <sighs> I kind of feel, I don't know what I feel. I just need some coffee. I hope this goes well for everyone's sake. And I hope I can at least get, they can at least let me into the, the, the courtroom and they don't object so that everyone who loves him can be represented there. That's my hope. Okay, we're here. And Amy's here. <laughs> There's nobody here. It's like nobody here, but that's okay. I don't like how my chest is showing. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> we'll see how it all goes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm back home. Um. Baby R has gone home. He's been ordered back home with mom. So, kind of back home, but he's already been there because his stay got extended for the week. Um, I will say, like, obviously I don't share all these details along this journey. Like I, I've always said, like this channel is about me becoming a parent, it's not about the cases. Um, but like, these are the moments where I, I, I want to make sure I share with people. I'm okay. I'm okay. Because of some things that have happened mm, two months ago and leading up to today with this, with this case, I had been making, um, I've been finding closure with this for some time now. I knew this hearing was, was coming. I didn't obviously know the full outcome of it and I was hopeful, but I definitely had the expectation that he was going home. Never shared it because again, like I don't, it's not stuff I really want to talk about or can even talk about. Um, so won't see him anymore on the channel. Um, there's a big old fly that's driving me crazy right here. Yeah, guys, like, I, I think what I feel like is I wish certain things happened differently. I wish at times I responded differently in, in certain things. I wish other people responded differently. Um... And I've learned how to go through a case and set severely clear boundaries for myself and for others. I love that boy. Oh my God, I love that boy. He will always have a place in my heart and always have a place in my home if he ever needs it. But I will tell you what, baby A is my sixth infant and six babies in or five babies rehomed, reunified, you learn to get through it. Some people ask me, are you gonna keep doing this? Well, obviously I have baby A, I'm gonna keep doing it. Um, you know, are you tired of it yet? I'm more and more beat down by the system but the kids never get over on me. They never wear me down. I mean, obviously parenting is tiring. And especially when you have two, there's major challenges. But like, 
that's not the hard part. It's just the system. And so I'm going to keep going because, yeah, I want to adopt. And I've been doing this for a year and a half. Like, I didn't go through all of that for nothing, you know. I... I understand that along the way I've given some kids some amazing foundations and I've helped these kids and I've I've done what I could do for every child that has come through my home and if they ever need a home they've got a home but at the same time too I'm a person and a human and I have desires that I want to attain and I'm grateful that a lot of people support me in that and I mean this the love that you all have shown baby R. You know he can't read the comments and he doesn't know all the details, but I feel that and any parent knows what I feel or you feel, the child feels. And the little gifts that y'all have sent for him, um, you know, the hats that, that, the hat that he got, just got, the two hats, like sure, he was too small for that and couldn't wear it. I'm keeping those and what's awesome is the next child I get that I, I do have that their head grows big enough that they can fit those hats. I'm always going to know that those were the love that those were given to, to baby R and, um, and it's just being given on to another child. So, I'm very content with this outcome. I wish it was a different one. I guess maybe I'm not fully content. No, I'm not fully content because I wish he was coming home with me. But I understand the outcome and um, it is what it is. So that's the end of this. I I'm, I'm literally am recording this the day it's coming out. I just got home from the courthouse. Um, and I'm, you know, planning. It, it, thanks for loving him, guys. Thanks for loving him so much. I'll see you all next week. Peace.